Okay, so in this video, um, we are going to get to the point where we can deal cards. And let me just show you the upshot here. If I click hit, uh, it adds another one to the stack, and you can see this is suit three, rank six. Remember, the ranks uh, in my case are always two behind what the card is, uh, just because two is zero. If I hit here, this should be rank one, zero, card zero. Boom, zero, zero. And every time I hit, I get a new card, okay? Catching a lot of clubs, another eight. Um, so <clears throat> we'll be able to um, deal out cards along the bottom here by following this tutorial. Uh, it gets a little complicated, but let's take a look and see what we've got. Okay, so boom. Um, all right. Uh, let's start with card draw and okay so what we're gonna do is every time well let's go back to actually let's do main activity first and what we're gonna do is inside of click method okay uh, instead of using just a random just that first card we're gonna create a static integer called hit set it equal to one inside of your getter setter Okay, and then um, inside of when your click method, every time you click it, we're going to increase the value getter setter dot hit, right? So when we hit it the first time, it's at two, and um, and actually one because it would be zero one two. So the first time you hit it would be the third card, right? Um, and then we're going to set the TV to card number getter setter hit, and then uh, use getter setter hit to determine which card we're showing. All right, so getter setter dot hit becomes the new standard. So you want to make sure you have that set up. You want to pause and get that set up. Okay, now I'm going to go to the panel class and let's take a look at what I've got here. Uh, inside of on draw, all right, uh, I've got a for loop, all right, and I'm just using Q, setting it to zero. And I'm saying as long as Q is less than getter setter dot hit, and then, you know, we're, we're initializing hit to one. It'll loop twice the first time then, so it'll go zero, one. Now, we can draw multiple things. We can put a for loop inside of every screen refresh and draw multiple things at once, okay? So in this case, at the very beginning, it'll loop through, it'll draw a card, it'll loop through, it'll draw a card, okay? So every screen refresh, we're now drawing two cards before we hit it. And every time we increase the value of hit, it'll call this card draw dot deal another time. Now we're passing it. I've modified the deal method so that it takes a couple of different things. And let's go look at the deal method. Okay, it takes a canvas. It takes a card number. It takes a distance, and this really should be called X distance. And then it takes a Y distance, because we're going to draw every card in a different location. For example, the dealer cards are going to have a different Y distance, because they're going to be higher up on the screen than the player cards. Right now, all the player cards have the same Y distance. But the first card and the second card, the second card is going to appear to the right of the first, of the first card, the third card to the right of the second card. So every card is going to have to have a different distance associated with it, okay? And let's just look how I do that. Um, so I'm, I'm dealing, uh, so I'm passing in the canvas so it can be drawn, and then I'm handing it Q, which is the number of the loop we're on, okay? So that means that the first time through the card number that it's going to draw is zero, okay? And it's going to take a look at getter setter card, it's going to take a look at the card deck, it's going to look at the first card on the deck, this zero card, all right, and it's going to make the determination about suit and rank and draw it. And then the second time through, it's going to look at the first card, right? The second card, which is number one, right? And it's going to make a determination about, well, what's the second card in the array? And it's going to draw it. And if it loops through twice, then that's going to be it. Okay. Now, the x distance right now, okay? is um, something that I'm putting together. I'm just using 80 times Q for this, okay? And um, every card we're going to take, all right, so the first one will be drawn at, 
<clears throat> Let's talk about X. All right. The first thing I do every time we call deal right now is I've created a method called get canvas dimensions and I'm passing it the canvas. Okay. And what we can do is we can do canvas.getHeight, canvas.getWidth, Y, and X. And every different device is going to have a different height and a different width, right? So if it's a tablet versus a phone, you need to know what the height and width is. And so what we're going to do is, and up at the very top, I've created a, a global variable that's an integer, int x, int y. Okay? And, um, and then every time deal gets called, we check to see what the height and width of the canvas is. All right? And that way X and Y are set. Now, every time we draw a card, what I'm doing is, okay, canvas.draw bitmap takes the card to be drawn, the X position and the Y position. Now the X position is X divided by two. Uh, if X and Y are the width and height of a canvas, X divided by two, Y divided by two is the center of the canvas, okay? So for every card that's drawn, we find the center of X, right? Because if X is 100, divided by 250 right in the middle, right? Well, I'm subtracting 500 from that. Why? Because I want my first card to be, this is the center, I want it to be minus 500, okay? And then I'm gonna add a distance value to it. Now for the first card, okay, that distance is gonna be 80 times zero. It's gonna be zero. Okay, the first card is going to be 80 times 1. Okay, so when we do it, it's going to be, it's going to find the center, it's going to subtract 500, and for the set first card, the second card that's dealt, it's going to add 80. Hence, this card here is 80 away from the first card. This one is 80, this one is 80, this one is 80. All right, so we just multiply it out like that. At least that's the, the best way I, I figured to do it. Um, and then we've got uh, zero at the very end, in which case, let's take a look at uh, that. That would be the y distance, and so uh, the y distance itself technically is, is going to be the center. So we're just going to take y divided by 2 and just add zero every time for this one. And that's fine. Okay? Um, yeah, so that's it. And then uh, every time we increment our hit, it will loop through another time. It will go through that many cards, it will figure out the distance and it should draw it. All right. So um, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave it right here so you can kind of see what my deal method looks like. So if you need to go back in the video and just look at deal, you can, what I have. Okay. And now I'm going to move to panel. And there's my panel. Okay. There's my simple for loop that calls deal. Um, depending on the number of cards we have out. Okay. Uh, good luck. That's difficult. That that's uh, that took me a little while to figure out, and I imagine there'll be some issues. And you know, the the big one is this: uh, just making sure that when you hit the card, it shows you the correct value on the top. That's important. So that jack, you know, that's nine one right there, and it needs to match up. Okay, and if it's not, we'll work it out. But that's one of the things that historically students have had the hardest time with, is getting the cards to match up to uh, the array values. So good luck, and uh, once again, let me know what you need.